phone uh, in pocket. 6.30 in the morning and I've already got a parking ticket. I parked last night in a suspended bay. I didn't even realise it. He just pulled up and... Uh. Now today, we're all over the place. Tom is currently driving down, or he should be, driving down to Greenwich as we speak. I'm heading over to Wembley to go and pick, pick up a Type C breaker for a job which I have to swap a Type B breaker over for a Type C, go and do that, and then I'm driving down to Greenwich to go and see Tom. And the best bit out of all of it is it's a Friday. Let's get this show on the road. believe I've parked in a suspended bay. It's easy done. It's so easy to do it. And it wouldn't help but the traffic wardens that they're like fucking vultures. They've got no morals, they've got no code. Oh, first gear time that would help. Fuck 130 quid TLC does not open till half seven. All right, I'll, I'll waste half an hour in screw fix and then go back to TLC. If you flick to, uh, ah, if you flick to page 343 in your ITS catalog, their Wago connectors are super, super cheap. And also, uh, I don't know if they've got some sort of cartel deal with Milwaukee because their Milwaukee stuff is pretty cheap at the moment. The Milwaukee 12 volt soldering iron with the battery and charger, that's quite a cool piece of kit I think. I've got a mains one in the back of the van, a plug-in one, so I keep looking at it thinking I need it, but it's, you know, it's, I don't need it badly enough that it's more of a present really. <laughs> it's more of a present for myself. I'll go and get these bits back in a minute. Anyway, let's get out of this flea-ridden hellhole that is known as Kensington and Chelsea and go and do some work. All right, Greenwich. Again, hopefully this will be the second to last visit now. Uh, so all we're doing is a bit of data today. Um, we've, all the sockets are on and everything. We've just got to um, do a bit of data work. So this, this was the cupboard originally where you saw all the electrics and the fuse board was in that. Uh, that it was there. In that space there um, so we've got rid of that and uh, we've just put in a piece of two piece and a couple of bits of four before trunking so the meters now there earth block and that's the board so we've got an rcbo fuse board um i haven't marked it up yet i've got to do that in a minute but um yeah we've got an rcbo fuse board a couple of spare ways um that socket's got to move down um because the router's got the, the router and everything's going here so that's got to move down and we've got to put this data inside the trunking here and we've got to put some data outlets here. So yeah, give me two minutes and I'll get set up. I don't know why she didn't just want it terminated. Us mortals, mate, we don't question it. We just do what we're told. Yeah. I don't know, I'm guessing just for neatness in the cupboard, I would yeah. guess. I I don't know. I didn't want to spend four hours making up patch leads, so I just got some Cat 6 patch leads, like 80 nice. pence each, so I just bought why some not? Why not? Yeah, it's not, I prefer it when it's got the, um, when it's got the little zip ties that you can tie onto the, in fact, this one's got it as well, the little hole for the zip ties. Ah. Not all of them have got it, and that way, at least when you press the plate back, it the wire doesn't pop, them out. pop out. These are the RJ45 ports that we've got to fit, so, all we're going to do is just, go, I'll show you in a second, let's just go in the cupboard, just on a surface box like that, and then you've just got your four ports, and then they're just going to plug their RJ45 cable from here into the back of the router. So, for the sake of, you could make these up yourself, but you can buy a Cat6 patch lead like this one for, I think this was like 90 pence, I mean they're peanuts. 
and there's numerous places, screw fix, TLC, they're all they're so cheap. Um, for one thing I was wondering, um, that sort of tickled my curiosity, was that this, when I bought these RJ45 jacks here, I, I went in and actually just bought Cat6 ones because we're fitting Cat6 cable. Um, but you can buy the RJ, you can buy RJ45 jacks, which are Cat5e. Um, and my question is, what's the difference? Because I cannot see, I've got a load of RJ40, the Cat5 ones here. Um, and if you compare them side to side, I can't see any difference at all, other than the fact that these are twice the price. So I'm not sure, because they look identical. They, they look exactly the same. So is that just like some sort of gimmicky sales marketing thing where they're just doubling the money? Because they, these were literally twice the price. So I, I can't actually see any discernible difference. Um, on the actual RJ45 plugs, because you buy Cat6 plugs as well, on the plugs, the ports on a Cat6 plug are much flatter. They're all flat. They're not staggered like the Cat5e ones. Um, so my guess is that's got something to do with reducing cross-talk. Um, or for transfer speed or something, I would guess. Um, but if anybody knows, what I'm particularly interested in is these, because I cannot see, although on these I can see a difference, this, I can't see any difference whatsoever. whatsoever. And they are labelled as Cat6. I don't know if you can actually see it in the, in the edges there. They are labelled as Cat6, so, but I can't see a difference. So if anybody knows, chuck it in the comments below whether that's just some sort of marketing spiel that they're getting away with charging twice the price. But a couple of you were also asking about um, why are we bothering to fit data? What's, you know, why have old-fashioned data lines? Why not just have Wi-Fi and just leave it at that? Um, I mean, it is a fair point, but I mean, the only reason we're fitting it is just, I mean, I'm a bit old-fashioned. I quite like to have a, a physical data jack to plug into. But I think everyone's different. It's just down to personal preference. Personally, I prefer to fit data lines if you're rewiring somewhere for the sake of installing it. It doesn't take that much extra effort to install it, and it's just a good feature to have, in, in my opinion. Yeah, we're actually we're breaking out these cutters, which are scriber sent to us. So they are nice. Um, I think they're more suited to this sort of data work, yeah. I think. that They're not really suited to Twin and Earth and stuff. Don't cut it short, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of room. So while we're here, we might as well do a giveaway because we haven't done one for a little while now. Uh, so this week, uh, you have a chance to win a NWS three-piece plier kit and a detachable Weira screwdriver set. So if you want to enter this competition, all you've got to do is like this video and leave a comment down below to let me know that you've entered. And then a week from now, so next Monday or Tuesday, I will pick a comment at random using an online random comment picker. Uh, and that's it. They'll be all yours. So those are the four data ports that we put in. That's the master point coming in from out in the road out there. Uh, that socket underneath which powers the router. That will go on a little shelf, I think, somewhere down here. They are going to have one, but for the second, yeah. Well, for the minute, little GoPro here will have to do. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're moving up to the DSLR world, but we're not sure, not sure yet. I've still got to... What I need to do is just buy the cash for it because it's about 2,000 quid. By the time you buy the camera, and then you buy a lens is like... 1500 quid for yeah, a lens. It's like it's silly money. It's so expensive. So, what want. more what we're after, yeah. But if anyway, have you got any suggestions for a DSLR? I was looking at the Canon D80. Uh, they are releasing a D90 apparently, but that's not till next year. But any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Back to the board, yeah. <laughs> Let's go over what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So, this is the fuse board here. Dave actually did this one. Um, so, we've actually got the gas meter there. That came up in a previous video actually, this was a while back. Uh, but what was the distance between a gas meter and a fuse board? It's 150 mil in the, I think it's in the gas regs. So, that's it. It's an RCBO board. Um, and that's the data point now, which is now fitted in. Uh, and that is the plug which powers the router there. That will move down here. The, I think they're going to put a shelf down here and it'll just sit on there and then I'll just have these little link cables to go from each room into the back of the router. I've actually ordered um, a new cable tester because uh, when I was on site the other day there was a guy who we were working with who had, he had a prop, it was a beautiful bit of kit. Um, so I've actually ordered it. I'll leave a link for it in the description. I'll try and put a photo here if I can. Um, so I've ordered one of these cable data testers. It hasn't arrived yet, so as soon as it does arrive you'll know about it. Right, cut all that. What has just happened, uh, you're now watching this the next day, so this is now Saturday. Uh, we finished that job, I couldn't get any more recording, my batteries ran out on my GoPro. But anyway, I thought I'd finished it, got home, 
And uh, no sooner would I have made myself a cup of tea, the customer rang and said, there's a telephone point in the bedroom which you've missed. I was like, so basically what that means is, uh, it's not a problem, but I don't like to think of it as a problem. It is a opportunity in disguise, is how I like to look at it. Because it's Saturday and I get to crack out the Ducati of awesomeness. I actually wanted to go down to Greenwich on the bike for a while, so this kind of seemed like the perfect opportunity, because I only need my telephone punch down tool and that's it. All right, <laughs> let's see if the Ducati will start. Okay. She is. I love that bike. For anybody who has never owned a Ducati, it's not so much a question of will it get you to your destination, it's more a direct problem of will it even start, <coughs> as Ducati and reliability are not two words you generally put in the same sentence. Takes a bit of priming, but she's there. My God, it's warm. Well, good morning, sweet cheeks. Hello. We are here. Now the question is, how have I got all the bits I need? to do this because I've only bought some screwdrivers. I've only bought some screwdrivers and a punch down tool and a pair of wire cutters but that should be all I need. Alright. Have a nice one. Alright, take care guys. Take care. Bye. See you later. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, that's another vlog for another week. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you'll be clicking up in the left hand corner round about now. If you want to watch another video, to the right hand corner. If you want to be really good and become a patron, down the bottom here. Uh, comments down the bottom and I'll see you next week.